So the Explorer trial is a totally different trial. It's a trial of patients with uh, aggressive systemic mastocytosis. So this is a rare disorder uh, characterized by uh, the KIT D816V mutation in literally all, well, practically all the patients. Many of these patients will have not only mastocytosis, but they will have an associated hemo hemopoietic neoplasm, or AHN. So they have, in other words, they have two diseases. They have mast cell disease, and then they have a more um, uh, complex non-mast cell disease. Many of these patients with advanced disease will have mutations in addition to KIT D816V. And so it was of interest to understand whether um, the mutations present at baseline would drive a response to avapritinib, the TKI used in this study, and also to see whether certain mutation patterns would evolve at the time that patients lost their responses. And specifically, of particular interest, will it be to see whether there are any patients with uh, acquired muta additional mutations acquired in KIT. And so the, I think the gist of this study is that all in all, the response rates are very good. Many patients achieve deep responses and overall survival and progression-free survival is superior to uh, what has been available so far. There is some um, differentiation as to what the initial, initial disease is, whether patients have so-called pure aggressive mastocytosis without concomitant hematopoietic neoplasm, whether they have AHN or whether they have mast cell leukemia. So by and large, AHN patients do worse than patients with mast cell leukemia and patients with um, ag aggressive mastocytosis. Interestingly, in that latter cohort, uh, although it's small, there is no progression event at all. Patients who do progress tend not to have specific mutations at the time of progression. And most patients will not progress with uh, evidence for reactivation of KIT that would be evidenced by an increasing mutational burden, uh, so D816V mutational burden, or increase of mast cell markers like tryptase or um, mast cell uh, infiltration in the bone marrow. So it seems that uh, avapritinib maintains a very tight grip on the mast cell component, and those patients who do have progression tend to progress with non-mast cell disease. And I think it will be interesting to understand the genetics in more, in, in more detail. Yeah.